What's going on guys? It's your boy Jaws here, community manager of the Tech Geeks, server manager of Prison Tech, and I am here today to show you a how-to video on the newest addition to Prison Tech, our very own custom-built voting system. That's right guys, custom-built voting system brought to you by the Tech Geeks, created by Terwathian and Antonio. That's right guys, we got an awesome thing going on here for you guys. Now I know that a lot of you out there are used to using Votifier. Votifier is a community plugin for everyone to use on Bucket. Basically the way Votifier works is you go to a website that they have broadcasted on the fun server and you vote like on mind status and when you vote you get a certain amount of money kind of deal. We used to have Votifier and we used it and uh, you know a lot of people really didn't care for Votifier after they ranked up higher blocks so to speak because it wasn't enough money you know so then we change it and we up the money a little bit but it still wasn't enough well now pretty much we've given we've given the power to you to make as much money as you can in a certain time limit that's right and I'm going to go into details on exactly how this works ladies and gentlemen I'd like to present to you the new prison tech voting system so here we go. We're actually going to get started by taking you to the forums here where the owner of the Tech Geeks, Terwathian, posted on the forums. Now I know a lot of you guys may not like to read things or it may be easier for you guys to actually watch something in video to actually learn it. And that is why me, myself, who makes all the videos on all the updates, anything that's going on in and around Tech Geeks and Prison Tech in general, am here to show you exactly how to do it. That's right guys, so here it is, this is the post on the forums, you can check it out at techgeeks.com under our prison servers on the forums. If you haven't signed up yet, make sure to sign up, we'll make sure to get you in, get you on your way and start your journey on prison tech. So how it works, you can do a command in game to see all the voting sites and information by doing slash vote. Now what it will do is it will pop up on your screen. And I'm actually going to show you right now how to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to do slash vote. When you do slash vote, it says with the links below, you can vote for tokens, which you can spend to gain access to special shops. More info can be found on the forums, blah, blah, blah. And what I'm going to do is hit T and I see the bit.ly for prison tech. We have two of them. We have one for mine status and one for Minecraft MP. You can vote every 24 hours for um, to earn tokens every 24 hours. And I will state this right now for the record. Anybody who tries to use a VPN to change their IP, it will not work. I've already tried it. We've tested out all the loopholes and we've got everything covered. So you can't actually cheat the system here. Um, this, voting, uh, this voting thing for Prison Tech actually logs your IP address your actual direct IP address. So um, no matter if you're hiding behind a VPN or not, it actually snags your direct IP address and you cannot vote more than once a day. Um, so with that being said, what you'll do, I have to stress this right now. What you will do is whatever server you wanna be on, whatever server you're on, if you want tokens for that server, make sure you are on that server. These do not transfer over to other servers. Yes, Prison Tech is an all-in-one built hub system for all of our prisons, but it will not transfer over. So, for instance, if you want to get tokens for Prison 1, make sure you are logged on to Prison 1 in Minecraft when you click on one of these links here. And when you click on that link, it's supposed to... Uh, there we go. When you click on the link, you can either copy it to a clipboard, I suggest not doing that, or just clicking yes. It will open up your web browser and it will take you directly to where we are on the website and you can click vote, which Shulu already voted today, so I can't vote, even trying behind the VPN, like I said. So anyways, you'll click vote, you'll put your in-game name on, you'll do the whole cap capchata or whatever the hell they call it, and then you actually vote and you will earn one token. You will do the same exact thing for you will do the same exact thing 
for the other voting website as well. And then you will earn two tokens. So you can earn two tokens a day by voting on both websites. And our whole motive and motto behind this uh, mainly was to get you guys to start voting because, you know, people say, well, you know, you know, it's more fun when there's more players on and stuff like that. And granted, we got YouTubers doing videos. We expect a huge influx of people to come in. But this is an ongoing thing. This is an ongoing process. The more you vote, the higher up on the list we go on them websites. And the higher up we go on them websites, the more people are going to see the server and the more people are going to join the server. So, you know, more people means more fun. You know what I mean? Because you have more people involved. And you get to meet new people. And it's about community relationships around here. So, yeah. That's our whole motive behind the whole voting thing. And now you get to earn things when you vote. And you are in control of how much money you get from voting. If you understand what I'm saying. And if you don't, I'll show you. So, basically, what we're going to do now is... Well, I'm already in here, but what you would actually do, if you have tokens, you have to have at least 10 tokens to use tier 1. So, let me just, uh, let me just show you here real quick on the forums a little bit of how it works. In tier 1, for voting, it is 25% better than secret shop prices. The prices for things in tier 1 are 25% better than secret shop prices. And you can redeem your tokens for tier 1 when you have at least 10 tokens. Tier 2 is 50% better than secret shop prices. And for Tier 2, you need at least 20 tokens to redeem a ticket for Tier 2. And in Tier 3, it is 75% better than secret shop prices. And you can redeem your tokens for Tier 3 when you have 30 tokens. And how you would actually do that is like this. What you're going to do, for instance, I have... I'm going to do slash tokens... And I right now have 40 tokens. Now, granted, that's not enough. So I actually need to give myself some more tokens. All right. So I added 60. I have an. I'm an admin. I can give anybody token. Anybody tokens. I can give myself tokens. That's the kind of deal. Now I'm gonna ask you guys. Do not ask us for tokens. Okay. That's one rule we're gonna put in play. You are to vote every day. That is your initiative. That is your goal. Is to vote every day to get your tokens. So don't ask us for them. We're not giving them to you. That's how it works. It's like, you ask us to sign plots, that's cool and everything. You ask us for mine parties, that can be kind of overbearing once in a while. This will be the new thing. Can I have tokens? I'm sorry. We are actually looking into doing some custom gameplay kind of things in the server. Like maybe we hide something in Prism 1 and you have to find it kind of deal. And then we go to Prism 2 for them players. And we hide something in there and they have to find it. And whoever finds it, we'll give them a certain amount of tokens. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. Um, so now, you have Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier tier 3. Um, yeah, over here. Tier 1 is on your left, Tier 2 is in the middle, which you can barely see over this mountain of stuff here, and Tier 3 is on the right-hand side. So now, now that you know how many tokens you do, by doing slash tokens, I now have 100 tokens on me. Um, I'm going to show you how this all works. So, here you go, you have Tier 1. Now, if you only have 10 tokens, for instance, what you're going to do is you're going to do slash redeem, and you have to capitalize this, tier, T-I-E-R, 1, just like I did right there. You have to capitalize it, or it won't work. And you hit enter, and you will get your tier 1 ticket. How you know it? it's a tier 1 ticket? It actually says it. I know it may be kind of hard because... You know, it says, here is your ticket, tier one, do warp redeem, whatever. But here you go. You can see it says, tier one ticket. Now, you can't use this tier one ticket to go to tier two. You don't have a tier two ticket. So, it's only used on tier one and tier one only. Same with the other ones. You can't use their tickets to go to two, a different one. So, now what you're going to do, you want to make sure you have all your items, absolutely all your items from your, you know, in your virtual chest, in your inventory, in your hot bar that you want to sell. And in tier one, you're going to right click, you're going to cash in your ticket, you're going to come into the shop. And in tier one shop, stone goes for $2.50, coal goes for $10, redstone goes for $20, iron ingots go for $80, gold ingots go for $112.50, diamonds go for $312.50, and emeralds go for $625. You can also sell your planks for $1.25 a piece. You can also sell your logs for $5 a piece. That is in tier 
one. And as you see on the right hand side, you have a countdown timer, which gives you about 400 seconds, which um, it states on the forums is six minutes. You actually have six minutes to sell as much as you can. Now, the only thing about this is it sells in one. It makes it challenging for you guys. So you got to sell all this stuff within a matter of six minutes. Like I said, you are, you know, you are in charge of your own destiny when it comes to the voting money. <coughs> so with that being said, you got to sell, sell, sell as fast as you can. That's how it works. It's a little bit of a challenge for you guys, but like I said, added initiative to actually voting for the website. Now, now that that's done, we're actually going to get out of here, and I'm going to go back to warp redeem and I'm gonna go to tier 2 now you see the voting timer is still counting down and you know this is still a beta phase plugin right now for you guys um, we wanted to get it out for you guys because it is working properly no doubt about it but it's a beta phase plugin so um, I am gonna talk to Antonio that possibly if they sell everything um, you know maybe I'll ask you guys as well do you think that maybe if you sell everything you have in your inventory but you still have stuff left over maybe at your plot you know this gives you enough time to go to your plot real quick and then hurry up and get back and the countdown timer still counting you know I mean I'm asking you guys I was thinking that I would tell Antonio possibly that when they warp out the countdown timer ends they're done their sessions over um, I don't know what direction we're gonna go with that maybe when I post this you can you know let me know in the comments down below if we should just let it go um, because here's the difference if you go back to prison one if I'm doing I'm doing this on prison one so you got the tokens on prison one if you warp out of here and you go back to you know D C A B wherever wherever you're at um, if you're mining in the mine and this countdown timer ends it will work it will teleport you back here it will teleport you back inside here where I'm standing now it will teleport you back in here so I don't know if that's gonna become a bother to people or not but that's why I brought up the idea of the whole uh, maybe you know when you leave the shop when you warp out um, your time's up kind of deal if you get my point so now we got tier 2 you know I already redeemed tier 1 tier 2 takes 20 tokens to get a ticket to tier 2 so I have them 20 tokens so I'm gonna redeem tier 2 and now the prices like stated on the forums are better than tier 1 they're better than the secret shop they're all better than the secret shop, but they're better than tier one. All, of course, everything is sold in one. Stones going for three dollars in here. Coal's going for twelve dollars. Redstone's going for twenty-four dollars. Iron ingots going for ninety-six dollars. Gold ingots going for one hundred thirty-five. Diamonds are going for three hundred seventy-five a piece, and emeralds going for seven hundred and fifty dollars a piece. Of course, you got your logs that you can sell for six dollars a piece, and you got your planks that you can sell for eight dollar fifty a piece. That, my friends, is tier two. So, for instance, if you have 60 tokens all together and you haven't cashed any of them in, and you want to go to, I don't know why, but if you want to go to tier one and then go to tier two, your time does reset. So, you don't have to worry about that. My time did reset. Or, say, for instance, you want to go to tier two four different times. You can do that. It, it, it doesn't matter. Your time will reset every single time you go into a shop when you cash in the ticket. So, I just want to show you guys that. So, now... I'm gonna go back to um, I'm gonna go back to warp redeem because you know I have I can have endless amounts of tokens and this is to show you guys uh, what it's all about and what it has to offer. Now tier three is a completely different tier and I think you guys are gonna like this and it's gonna give you that incentive to want to save your tokens up possibly to get into tier three because some of you guys may be sitting there thinking, well why can't we sell in 64? Well like I explained, we're still trying to make it challenging to where it's not OP. To where you're just going to rank up in a matter of no time. So, with tier 3, I'm going to redeem tier 3. Remember, once again, make sure you capitalize that T and spell it correctly. I'm going to redeem tier 3. Now I got myself a tier 3 ticket. It can't be used on 2 or 1. It has to be used only on 3. I click on it. I'm now in tier 3. I know I'm in tier 3. Um, so something seems to be going awry here because I know I'm going into tier 3 but for some reason Shulu was able to get into tier 3 and it was different 
But for some odd reason, Tier 3 isn't showing up for me the way it's showing up for her. And I, I, I'm not understanding that right now. Basically, let me explain to you what Tier 3 is. I am not redoing this video. This is my third take already. Um, tier 3 is going to give you more money than any other tier out there. And uh, also, you will be able to sell items in blocks. That's right, like emerald blocks, diamond blocks, iron blocks, gold blocks, you know. So each one of them little pieces of iron and gold that are in that block are, you know, counted as one piece of iron and gold that you would originally get, you know, like price-wise. So you just also, you sell them pretty much like in bulk kind of deal. That's your added incentive to get to tier 3 for the most part because then you could sell your blocks in bulk and make all that money. You know what I mean? That's a lot of money. So with that being said, I don't know why it's not showing up for me. I know I went into tier 3. I don't know why it's, show, it's not showing up for me. We're going to have to look into that. But like I said, guys, this is still in beta. I mean, I don't expect that. We don't expect anybody to get to tier 3 anytime soon. Remember, you're going to get like two tokens a day if you book, vote for both websites. So to get to tier 1, it's going to take you five days. Okay, to get to tier 2, it's going to take you ten days. To get to tier 3, it's going to take you like 15 days or 16 days. I, I, I don't know. I can't count it off the top of my head. But it's going to take you a while before you can even get to tier 2 by the time this video is out. So, you know, we are still setting everything up. We're still, you know, tweaking everything and making sure everything works. And I do want to state for the record that on the forums with the tokens being 10 for tier 1, 20 for tier 2, 30 for tier 3, everything is subject to change. So if we see that it's too easy for you guys, we may actually, you know, up the token count 5 more. So it may be like 15 for tier 1, you know, 25 for tier 2, 35 for tier 3. It's all an added incentive. It's all an extra challenge for Prison Tech because you know we like things to be challenging in our server. We like to be different than everybody else. So with that being said, guys, that is the, that is the new voter thing, custom coded, only for the tech geeks. It is ours. It's nobody else's. And you're not going to find this out in the community unless somebody copies this from us. You know what I mean? But I am very proud to announce and state we were the originators of this, and we are very happy about uh, making this system for our prison server. And we're very happy to have this system for when the actual YouTube guys get in here start doing things and we have a few other things up our sleeve that we will be releasing here hopefully within this week so with that being said guys this is your boy jaws community manager of the tech geeks and i leave you like i always do with god bless don't stress and always strive to do your very damn best we'll see you later guys peace out